we want you to make healthy versions of these traditional comfort foods. Wait a minute. Comfort food is comfort food. The fattier, the better. This just sucks. We're going to draw knives to determine which dish each of you will be making. Amanda? Beef stroganoff. Spaghetti and meatballs. Pepperoni pizza. Oh. Oh. Lasagna. It just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> Chicken pot pie. The hamburger. Tuna casserole. I have no clue what the hell tuna casserole is. Chicken and dumpling. Sloppy Joe. Meatloaf. Chicken fried steak. This is really easy. I'm going to add another layer. Uh, All of your dishes oh. must be made vegetarian. Yes. My kid's a vegetarian and has been since he was three. So I have a little experience trying to get him to eat veggies. I think this is going to be a fun challenge for me. And now for the physical activity. Oh, God. We'll do it with no legs. You can only grab tools and ingredients from the pantry one at a time. Boy, I like that run back and forth. Yeah. The winner of this quick fire challenge will get immunity in the next elimination. You have 30 minutes on the clock. Your time starts now. Oh, boy. Corner. Help me through. One at a time, huh? Yeah, one at a time. All of those hours I spent on the treadmill and extra preparation for Top Chef are finally going to pay off. Let's go. It's time to quit smoking. <laughs> Top Chef free for all. I am guilty of not exercising. I just love eating roasted pork belly and pot roast and macaroni salad. That's the Hawaiian life right there. This is good for us, huh? Corner. Oh, yeah. ah! Sorry. Just got body slammed by Shirley. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Corner. Are these all the same? I need them. No, no, those are not all the same. You may not take them off. If you know me from past episodes, you know that I like to put like 25 little things on my dish. Ah, so now I'm going to have to really cut it because it's exhausting just to grab one item at a time. Ah, so I have to be like very smart and create a simple dish that I can only go maybe three times to the pantry. I'm running like a bat out of hell, and grabbing one thing at a time is actually sort of working in my favor. Tahini, where's tahini? Anybody seen tahini? Each element that I drop on my station, I have about 20 seconds to think about what exactly the hell I'm going to grab next. One more thing. Oh. <laughs> Sheldon slept. This sucks. I'm finally to the point where I'm feeling good, and then this happens. Oh, Sheldon, are you okay? I'm tired, I'm out of breath, but sometimes you gotta grind it out. What's your traditional dish, man? Uh, I've got sloppy joes. Oh. This is gonna be almost completely vegan dish. Crumbled tofu, spices, peppers, and onions. I'm feeling good about this quick fire. I mean, I definitely stumbled a little bit at the beginning in this competition, but now it's off to the races. How about you? What's your dish? Uh, I'm doing chicken fried steaks. So I'm going to do like a eggplant steaks. I'm going to cook them in the oven with a little bit of a pistachio topping instead of a chicken fry. Nice. Eggplant has that great sort of meatiness in a vegetable that you get in steak. And I want to top it with the breading instead of deep frying. I'm trying to make the, the healthiest dish of the day. I was a vegetarian for a long time, so uh, I'm a fan of vegetarian cooking. Part of me was just sort of the, my, my rebellious nature as a college student. I was just like, I'm sticking it to the man. I'm going to be a vegetarian. I spent a decent amount of time in the gym, too. Powerlifting. It, as, as much as I may try, it, it, does, it doesn't really seem to, to stick. 15 minutes, everyone. 15 minutes left. I'm making pasta out of a zucchini, but it's just going to be quick saute in a spicy tomato sauce. I'm not a huge fan of utilizing like fake meats, like fake ground beef or soy meat. Yeah, they're natural, but I don't know what they're made out of. I'm just going to make the meatball out of zucchini. So if anything good comes from this, I owe it to Richard Blaze. If not, he'll just hate me forever. It's easy to throw a slab of meat on the fire. I saw him make a veggie burger once, and it hit me in the head. A little curry, some almonds, dried fruit, mushrooms. But to do something creative with vegetables, it shows you the talent of the chef. What are you making, Silva? Chicken and dumplings. I have some nice seitan that's going to add us the chicken. He's working with products that I've never even seen before. 
you know, these weird kind of like tofu derivatives. It seems very creative, but sometimes when I've tried to eat those things, they're just not very flavorful. Deep breath. Coming through very hot, very hot. I am making a vegetarian stock trying to get a lot of flavor with leek, onion, garlic, carrot, celery, turnip for a little sweetness. But now I just need to get this crust done. This is just insanity. Two minutes. The dough, it's not cooked. I cannot serve completely raw crust. I just lightly toast the crumb topping, and hopefully that will work. Hands up, utensils down. Lord, Lord. Hello. Hey, Amanda. I have made for you a vegetarian beef stroganoff. My sauce is charred eggplant, tomato, and some Greek yogurt. And do you cook much vegetarian food in your normal cuisine? I do, actually. Cook a lot of beef stroganoff? Nope. Hi, Katsuji. Hi, how are you? I made spaghetti and meatballs. I took the squash and I run it through a machine to make it look like a noodle. The meatballs is just, I melt and butter the, the same squash and then deep fry. I like the little kick in it. Ah, always a little kick. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Brooke. Hi. I made a vegetarian lasagna with grilled zucchini, bechamel, and tomato sauce. This is a very interesting creamy texture to it. I use soft tofu as the base of it. Thank you. Great, thank you. I have the Great American Hamburger. I made it with mushrooms, a little dried cranberries, almonds, a little curry powder. Did you put curry powder in there because we're both Indian? No, I just, I always <laughs> put that in my veggie burger. Okay, just curious. Very good, thank you, John. <laughs> I had a chicken and dumpling. My pressure cooked the seitan to mimic the shredded chicken. Then I got masa and created the dumplings. Thank you. Casey? So I had chicken pot pie, turnips, carrots, celery, potato. I put some silken tofu with it to get that creaminess that everyone loves. Why the decision to kind of crumble little nuggets of flour? Well, I actually did that to get the flakiness out of it. Hi, Jamie. I got uh, sloppy joe as my draw, so this is my fit joe. I used a firm tofu, a lot of bell peppers, some garlic, onion, a little bit of tomato paste, and a light salad on the side. My son's vegetarian. I have to find interesting ways to get him to eat. Oh, it's sloppy, all right. <laughs> well, I had chicken fried steak, so I've substituted the uh, steak for eggplant. I made a pistachio, mint, lemon zest, and parsley topping, and finished it with a mushroom gravy. Thank you, Jim. Thank you all. Thank you. Hi, Emily. I pulled meatloaf. I used a ground veggie protein. I did a little bit of raw almond, garlic, cumin, lots of lemon zest, mint, and parsley. Thank you, Emily. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to meet you Great again. to meet you. So, Vivek, how do you think our chefs did? Well, I think they had a lot of challenges. They had to run, they had to make a vegetarian dish, and they had to make it healthy. And overall, I think they did a remarkable job. Who had our least favorite dishes? Silva. Your chicken dumpling, I found it to be hard to chew. Casey's chicken pot pie, the top of the dish felt very grainy. It felt like it fell apart. Katsuji, the noodles felt over sauced and, and soggy, and the meatballs lacked some taste. Who had our favorite dishes of the day? Emily's dish I, I really enjoyed. She did a very nice job ensuring that her dish resembled the meatloaf, uh, and it was also really tasty. Thank you. Jamie's Sloppy Joe. What was great about the Sloppy Joe was the texture and the taste of the, of the filling. The dish was quite good. Thank you. Brooks lasagna. It tasted creamy, rich. It was also visually very appealing. And who had the most comforting dish of the day, Doc? That chef was... Jamie. Woo! I'll take it. I'm super stoked to have immunity. Max's would be so proud. I won one for the for the vegetarians.